Hello everybody and today we are doing my July favourites. I'm so sorry that it's late. I can't believe we're in August already and let's get started. The first favourite is a book. Now this is the this is a book and it's from the Zorella Book Club and basically it is a really good book. It is about two people. One could, I'm not going to spoil it, one called Juliet Young and another called Declan Murphy. And basically they start writing to each other. I have no idea who it is, who they are, but you know, it has twists and turns in it and it's a very good book. I'm literally halfway through this book and I can tell you that I love this book. So this is the book. And I love this book. I can't stop, uh, I can't not read it i can't put it down there are some times where i just read and i end up reading through nearly all the book but i've been taking my time with this book and it's from the zoroa france 2017 book club and this was reviewed by chris russell so that's my first favorite love it so much the next thing is a foundation and the foundation is the rimmel last finished 25 hour with comfort serum so this is the so this is the actual foundation. It is a very good foundation. It is full coverage. It doesn't last, I don't think it lasts in 25 hours because I've never worn it for that long. But I absolutely love this foundation. I apply it with a sponge or a beauty blender and then that is it. It can, if you put other concealers on top of it, it's not going to do anything weird about it. The only thing is, if you do have dry skin and you do use this, please make sure you use a good primer or a good moisturizer before you put this on because sometimes it, it does ha i have lip it's a dry skin but they're not bad and i do find one time i found like a dry spot down there and i just had to pick away the foundation because i didn't like it but that is all but other than that it's really really good i really love the benefits of this foundation it is so good the next product that i have got is a mascara now i love now people do know that i love the colossus mascara the big the roller lash by benefit i love them so much but i wanted to try a different one and this is the colossus big shot volume express mascara and this mascara is a really good one i absolutely do love it it does pick up it sometimes it makes your mascara a little bit clumpy that's if you add too much on but the bristles are just like that they're just normal size bristles it's like a medium size brush but I love how good it makes my lashes I have it on today as well and I absolutely love this mascara I use it every time and I even use it on the bottom lashes on the bottom lashes it is really good and I love this so much so if you're looking for a new mascara try it the Maybelline the Colossus Big Shot the next product I have is a literally a real techniques product I send the packages because I have two of them and I don't really want to get this one out but I'm just going to show you it is the real technique it is the miracle complexion sponge now this is really really good you wet you can use it wet or dry so you have that option to use wet or dry i do have the beauty blender i stopped using beauty blender because i love this i love that sam and nick have done a brilliant job of doing it because basically it's got a flat side then it's got a pointier side to do your under eye but i love the flat side that you can pounce it on and you can use it wet or dry when it goes to wet it does expand but it can apply your foundation really nice wet if you use it dry you can still use it dry i don't i've never used it dry but i always use the wet but i put this on with my found on with my foundation like i put my foundation on this and i blend it into my skin it blends out beautifully it look, gives your face a nice flawless finish it is beautiful it's a sponge to a brush but if i had it my way i'd probably go for this one all the way this product is a product that i've been using for my vlog channel so if you don't know I have the vlog channel i'll link it down below and it is going to be the canon m10 now this is a really good camera to vlog on this was only this is a mirrorless camera so you can take the lens off it's not practical because you can't the lens won't go down it will just basically stay like this but it is beaut it is really good it has really good like it's really good at picking up stuff it actually is really nice so if you want to see the quality of this camera in action please go down to i leave a I leave one down but i leave a video down below of what i used to use my old canon versus the m10 and you can see the difference dramatically it does improve it it can do close-up shots you can do like um pictures on here but i normally use this for basically vlogging and it does work good for me flip out screen on the camera so you can actually flip it this way so you can actually see yourself when you're vlogging 
things to see yourself. And then you can, if you are taking, if you're vlogging someone else, you can flip it down. But I do love this. It has three settings. It has an auto setting, it has a camera setting, and it has a record setting. So you could actually use this for something that you record on as well. So if you're if you're starting out and you want to and you don't use a phone and you don't want a really expensive camera, try the M10 for just like uh, recording your video, YouTube videos on. This will do great as well. And I do love this camera. The next product that I've got, gone to try on is the uh, camera stand, the vlogging stand that I use. So I'm going to show you it in action. So this is the stand I use and I love this stand so much. It's the Manfrotto stand, the extreme, and it has grips on the bottom. And what you do is you just basically twist it onto your camera like so. And you film with it like this. Now you can have it laying down flat like that so it does spread out or you can hold it right there and vlog with it i find this really really good to vlog with sometimes i take off sometimes if i'm going to town and i don't really want this big thing and i want to put this down so i have a look at things i would just take this but if i'm doing it at home or at a party and i don't really want to put the camera down as much i will just be like this and it has a really good base plus what i do like is the neck is you push this button and the neck it swivels around so you can actually have it uh, like upright or anything to you like that so that's what i love about it and i love that it goes well with this camera as well it will go well with any camera this stand but i wanted to use it on this camera because i just love it so much and for vlogging it is a really good one so the next one is a air freshener now the reason why i love this air freshener is because every time when i use an air freshener i have the wet the wetness now if you don't know what i mean if you normally spray a normal air freshener it has and you and basically you go to sit down what you've just air freshened and you find that you get a bit wet basically if you put air freshener and you go straight for it you get a bit wet um but i have actually got this one it is the our wick pure and it is the neutralized odors just fragrance no wet spray so basically normally a a air freshener would have a wet spray this has no air, wet spray it just has a basically pure air just comes out of this but with a smell spraying a delight and it is beautiful i love spraying this and i love to spraying it i spray it in my room and there's no wet spray coming down you just oh it smells so good it just has the the air coming out so no water added so it's just air that comes out and it just smells and it really just gets your room really nice smelling nice and you don't get any of the wetness falling onto you or nothing like that. I just find this product a really, really good product to have. And I love it so much. So, yeah, this is the one that I've been using just to have an air freshener. So the next few products are Zorilla Beauty products. And the reason why I've got them is because I've been using them non-stop. Now, first of all, I have got a Lazy Day candle. So, this is a Lazy Day candles by Zorilla. And it was up to the top. It's like, literally, like, I've used so much of it. And I use this on, I put it upstairs and I go to bed and I put the candle on and I chill in bed or I read a book or I watch on TV and the smell, it smells so gorgeous. It smells nice in here but when it goes around your room it smells really, really nice and it is a gorgeous fragrance. I love what Zoella is on with the packaging as well. I think it's nice to have Zoella down there and have Lazy Days. The smell of this, this smell is so good. It gives me... It's, I find it very relaxing for me because a laser day I normally just relax and this is like a relaxing smell that I do ha use. That's relaxing, smells nice. I just love this one before I go to bed because it just makes my room smell so good and I feel like I just want to go to sleep afterwards. And it smells gorgeous. If you ever want to try a candle, try and soil these products because her, I don't know what she does, but she always makes a product really, really good and it really comes up to top condition with her. I do love that that fact. I love the fact that she has a really, it's really, really good, it's really how good how she's made the products and how it's packaged as well. But I just love the fact that, I don't know how she does it, she makes everything smell nice and she, and she, I, love, I love that she caters to how she likes to smell, smell of things. That's what I love because some people, they put out products, but they don't like the smell of it. But they have the, 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 the customers like us kind of say, this smells nice, but really it doesn't. But this smells really nice and I love that she's tailored for herself as well. The next thing is a soak opera. I use this, I use a bit of it. It's kind of down there now. I've kind of used a bit of it. I have this when I have a bath. This smells... Oh, it smells 
so gorgeous and it's not a liquid it's like a jelly it's like a jelly form i think it feels like a gel gel jelly form but i put this on and i put it on and i and i wash it on myself i use it in a bath i just put up some of that into my hand and wash it on me and it smells so so good and when i come out i'm still smelling of this it smells really nice it's like a jelly consistency i think it's like a jelly consistency because it's not like a liquid consistency because liquid just goes all over the place but this is like a gel consistency and i love the and I've loved what she's done with the packaging. Or oh, every packaging that Zola does, it's nice and it's beautiful. It's just lovely. And you can use it in the bath or shower cream. So you can have a, a choice of what when you use it. I have a bath. It's the Scoop of Deeper by Zoella. Now, I've used this. Oh, God. I use this a lot. As you can tell. I've used, as you can tell, I've used it a lot. This creates a bubbles like I've like i wouldn't i love lush bubble bars if i compare this to lush lush is still better but this if we compare it to any other bubble bar that i've used this by tops far the most the bubbles are so fluffy they smell gorgeous they just your bath just your bath moment just has a i love bubble baths and you just have a moment with the bubble baths it just smells really gorgeous it smells really nice i take a scoop run it under the bath and even a scoop it creates lots of bubbles so you don't need a lot of this you just need a scoop to scoop it deeper and it smells gorgeous as well it just smells really nice and your baths my bathroom just smells when i have a bath it just smells like some of those products because that is why so the next one is a double consola product again i'm sorry but this smells oh my god this smells so good gorgeous it's a double cream body cream now this packaging is to die for i love this packaging it is a like a creamy baby pink packaging and i love the purple on there as well it and the gold z i love this is it gold yeah it's gold i love this packaging so much the smell is really nice it uh, it is the smell of nourishing macaroons and scented body cream so it's sweetly nourishing macaroons it smells gorgeous you don't need a lot of this girl okay if you put loads of this you'll be rubbing for ages this lasts me so long because i've been using this every time i have a bath even when i don't have a bath and i just want something to have some cream on i use this on my arms and it makes my skin so soft but a little bit goes a long way i use a pea size amount and that is it and it does both my arms i kind of go like that and go right okay do the other side i love this so much i use this after i've gotten out from the bath i put lotion everywhere i find this smell really really good and really smelly nice but a little bit goes a long way so don't go and then go and use like a wad of it on your hand just use a little bit and trust me it just goes a long way it is a hand sanitizer now this is so well a hand and heart again sorry about all the zoella products maybe you're not sorry maybe you're like oh she likes that but I love this one. It is called Hand on Heart. It's a hand cleanser. And I, I'm going to put a little bit on now because I love, love this. It smells really good. A little bit goes along way because it's got a strong scent. Oh, it smells so good though. A little bit goes a long, long way. I use it such a lot. I use it every sometimes time. Sometimes when I go out shopping, I go to the toilet. And sometimes I don't have toilet around there. So I wipe myself and I'm thinking this. And I wipe my hands and there's nothing else. So I dry my hands and I use this. This is really good. It is a hand cleanser. It will kill, I think it kills like 99% bacteria. It, and it's really, really good. I absolutely love this. The smell is so strong though. I love the fact that the smell is really strong as well. The last product I have of products is a hand cream. I've been using this really, really well. And a little bit of this goes a long way as well. This is the Zola hand cream. I have dry hands and I need some hand cream just to make sure my hands are nice and smooth. And this is the one that I want, that I have. And it is the moisturising hand cream. It smells really good. Oh. I'm sorry, it smells really good. I love the packaging that she has on this. But I absolutely love the, this. This is really good. I love it because a little you just need a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. And it moisturises your hands. It makes your, makes your hands so moisturising. So my winter, I do have dry hands. But I like to moisturise my hand. And when I do it, my hands are so smooth afterwards. It's lovely. And I really, oh god, my voice is going, what the hell's going on? <laughs> 
and this is really really nice and lovely it smells really good as well so if you're looking for a new hand cream i don't go for the cheap hand creams anymore i want an ex i want hand creams that are like not medium cheap to expensive i think this was about 10 8 quid i believe or something like that i can't remember i've got them off super dry and i will never go back to any hand cream because i love this so much this is such a moisturizing hand cream and the plus side your hands get this nice as well this thing is a film now i've been watching this film i don't know how many times i've been watching it i love it because it's got such an upbeat up it's got i think it has alicia silverstone in and it has queen latifah and it is the beauty shop if you haven't seen it go and see it it is one of them films that it is so upbeat and you want to laugh along with them as well and do you want to cry because at the end at the end it's happy and i had didn't think i was going to cry and i had a box of tissues and i saw it was a happy ending and i cried because i thought oh my gosh she's actually uh, queen latifah's character is actually getting what she wants and i love that she has like comments in there that like kevin bacon's in there and kevin bacon looks hilarious he has long hair and it's blonde and he's tan and he has an accent and i find that his character is really funny but queen latifah is so funny there's a bit in it where she's leaving for she's leaving like she's getting she she's walking out she's quitting her job and she says something like i, I he kevin bacon goes like you're gonna fall flat on your ass by the time this is through kind of like that and she goes well i've got a little kitchen want to kiss it i didn't think so and that bit just cracks me up so much because in this she's kind of like a plus size woman and she is so fun in that she's got an edgy spirit she has a kid in there she has things happen to her she has hair crack which is basically a hair condition that she makes up in home it is a really funny film and i just i suggest that you watch it you can watch it over on netflix you can it's there on netflix and I find that such a funny film. It is really good. It has serious moments in there, but it's a really good film in the end, and I love watching yeah. it. That is my favourite for this month. If you like this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. Please subscribe so you can be part of my channel, and I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye!